Welcome back. We are here looking at the ETFs, and it's going to be my daily forecast for Monday, June 21st, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you will hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and we'll start by looking at ARK Innovation ETF. And as you can see, on Friday, we're up 0.34% to the upside, and we're trading just above the 200 moving average at 118. So if you look at the technical indicators for the CDF, you can see the MACD is bullish, the RSI is flat, the CGI is bullish, and the stochastic is bullish as well. We are we basically approached the very top of the bullish band and basically pulled back. So we could see this pull back even further to the bottom of the bullish band. Probably not on Monday, but sometimes uh, this week, because usually when we get this close to the top of the bullish band, we, it, it tends to pull back towards the middle or even the bottom of the bullish band. So the middle is roughly at 113 and the bottom is give or take 100 and 106 at this current stage. If we manage to break above the 150 and 100 moving average, then we could basically see the CDF go back towards the previous highs. So let's look at DVI. So DVI just took an absolute nosedive. So it has lost roughly 7% in the last week and a half. It found support at the 100 moving average, but there is almost no pullback. So we could see this continue to fall. However, it is significantly overstretched here, ridiculously overstretched here in the in the bullish band and also in uh, significantly oversold in the RSI. Otherwise, technical indicators are very bearish. So if we manage to stabilize here, then we could see this go higher. However, break below the 100 moving average could open the door to the 150. And that's another drop of 5.2% uh, to the downside. To the upside, we'll most likely run into uh, resistant here at the 119 level, right at the 50 moving average. So let's look at VTI. So VTI also fell off a cliff in the last three trading days. It fell roughly 2.2% and found kind of support at the 50 moving average. It does not look really good for this uh, ETF. It could drop towards the bottom of the bullish band in the in the coming trading days to 215. It's right underneath the 50 moving average. Otherwise, technical indicators are looking very uh, bearish indeed. MACD is bearish, CCI is bearish, the CCI is bearish, and so is the stochastic. So we have been in this situation before. We saw it right here back in May, where we fell below the 50 moving average and then rallied. We are getting to the edge of being overstretched here and also over oversold in the RSI could drop a little bit further before going higher but still this is an uptrend it has reached towards the 100 moving average several times and never basically managed to touch the 100 moving average the last way basically last year so as long as this is still an uptrend and that we don't break the 100 moving average or 150 then we could see um, buyers come back in when they see the opportunity for value. So let's look at MCHI. So this has uh, rallied on Thursday and on Friday. We pulled back a little bit. 0 0.14 to the downside. Nothing really happening here. Um, it looks like we are going to have another run at the um, these moving averages that are that are basically clustered in this area. So the 50, 40, and the 200 moving average are right there. MACD is very negative. The RSI is flat. CCI is negative, and so is the stochastic. So if you look at the bullish band, we hit the bottom, rallied, pulled back a little bit, but we didn't really get close to the middle of the bullish band. So the middle of the bullish band is at 81. The bottom here is at 79, give or take. So that is basically the range at this moment. Until we basically take out this lower um, lower candlestick here, we could drop towards the 200 down at 76, which uh, should offer massive support. And to break above the 200 moving average, we could go towards 150 and the 100. It's not until we basically break the 100 that we can go towards the highs here again, and that's a rally of 16% to the upside. So let's look at IVV. So also here we saw. Um, Fairly big fall in the last week, lost roughly 2%, 2.2% to the downside. We are 
overstretched here in the bullish band on the edge of being oversold. Um, however, technical needles are very negative. So we could see a repeat of what we saw back in May, where we pulled towards the 50, broke below the 50, and then rallied. This is a fairly negative candlestick as there's no pullback at the end of the Friday session, and again that we could see this drop further before it goes higher. So the 100 moving average is down here at 405. That's a drop of roughly 2.67% uh, uh, to the downside. And uh, to the upside, we'll most likely run into the 20 exponential moving average if we rally or even the 50. So hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck and thank you very much.